talk a little bit about parentheses right now, these parentheses in particular. These parentheses are important because they're used for a lot of different things in Java. And one of the things they're used for is to tell you where a class begins and ends. And that's this pair of parentheses you see right here. By the way, in BlueJ, if you click on any particular parentheses, its partner parentheses will also light up, which is really useful. In more advanced editors, such as IntelliJ, the parentheses are each of a different color. So looking at the code, you can easily tell where the pairs of parentheses are. Colorized brackets is not a feature that is present in BlueJ, unfortunately. So to see the matching parentheses, you have to click on them. You can see I'm clicking on them here and the match is showing up. Now, these parentheses that begin and end the class, they are not optional. So whenever you define a class, you have to use these parentheses to tell the compiler where does the class begin and where does it end. Likewise, these parentheses mark the beginning and end of a method, and those are also required. So this happens to be a static method, but these parentheses are required for any method. So for example, if I was to create another method here like this, you can see that these parentheses are required because it begins and ends the method and needs to know where that happens. Now, when it comes to if statements, if I have an if statement like this, and we'll talk about what goes inside the if statement in a minute, uh, this would be sort of the more generic structure for an if statement. We have an if statement, then we have these parentheses, for an if statement, these parentheses here, these I call these parentheses, I call these curly brackets. These parentheses are required. And what's inside the parentheses is what's known as a Boolean expression. So I'm going to say here, Boolean expression goes here. I'm going to just put a little comment in there for now. And then these curly brackets here, as I'm going to explain to you, are optional. Furthermore, this else clause and its accompanying pair of curly brackets are also optional. In fact, this entire else is optional. We can write an if statement just like that. I'm going to go and start with this one now. And basically, these curly brackets start and end uh, basically define what is the body of the if statement. So for example, if I wanted to do three different things here, Maybe I want to create a variable. Uh, maybe I want to print something. <laughs> maybe I want to do something else like that. You can see in this case, because I'm doing three different things here, I need to have these parentheses, these curly brackets, because I need to tell it where the beginning and end of this if statement is. However, if I only have one line, if I only have one line that I'm executing with my if statement, these curly brackets become optional. See that? So let me show you what I mean. Let's say, for example, I was to create a variable up here. And then I wanted to check the size of the variable. So I said, if x is bigger than 3, system out print ln big and then over here let's say i wanted to print small okay so i created a variable i'm checking the size of the variable if it's bigger than three i want to print the word big otherwise i want to print the word small you notice that there's only one line of code here associated with this if and similarly, there's only one line of code associated with this else. So now I don't actually need these parentheses at all. And I can write the code like that, and you'll see that it compiles just fine. It's only when there's multiple lines that are associated with the if or the else that I need those curly brackets. Now, these curly brackets that I just deleted here, this is not the only situation where if there's a single line, I don't need them. And if there's more than one line, I need them. We haven't learned loops yet, but if I had a loop here, let me show you what a loop looks like. This is going to be unit four. If I had a loop here like this, 
that ran 10 times like this. Once again, you see I have a single line that's associated with this loop. If there's a single line, I don't need these curly brackets. I can run it without that because there's only one line here. So if there are no curly brackets, the compiler assumes there's only one line that is the body of this for loop. So this business about one line not leading brackets is a repeating theme in Java. Going forward, if there is only one line, I'm not going to write the brackets because I am a typical lazy programmer. You have the option of writing the brackets or not. Just be aware that in the multiple choice portion of your exam, a lot of times they will not write the brackets for if there's a single line in the body of, an, of a loop or an if statement. Okay, so this is perfectly acceptable, but it's not necessary.